Asthma. You may have heard of it, or you may even have it yourself. But do you really know what it is? What causes it? What are its symptoms and how it can be treated? If not, don't worry. In this video, we will explain everything you need to know about asthma. Let's begin. So, what is asthma? Asthma is a chronic respiratory disease that makes it hard to breathe. It happens when the airways in your lungs become inflamed and narrow and produce extra mucus. This makes it difficult for air to flow in and out of your lungs, causing wheezing, coughing, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. Asthma can affect anyone, but it usually starts in childhood and can last for a lifetime. So now, what causes asthma? Well, the exact cause of asthma is not fully understood, but it is believed to be a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Some people are born with a tendency to develop asthma, and this can be triggered or worsened by exposure to certain substances or situations. These are called asthma triggers, and they can vary from person to person. But some common asthma triggers are allergens such as pollen, dust mites, animal dander, mold, and cockroaches, irritants such as tobacco smoke, air pollution, chemicals, perfumes, and cleaning products. Infections such as colds, flu, sinusitis, and bronchitis. Exercise, especially in cold or dry air. Emotions such as stress, anxiety, anger, or laughter. Weather changes such as cold air, humidity, or thunderstorms. Medications such as aspirin, ibuprofen, beta blockers, and some blood pressure drugs. Symptoms of asthma. The symptoms of asthma can vary in frequency and severity depending on the person and the trigger. Some people may have mild symptoms only occasionally, while others may have severe symptoms more often. However, there are some common symptoms many patients experience. These symptoms include number one, coughing. This is one of the most frequent and noticeable symptoms of asthma. Coughing helps clear the mucus and irritants from the lungs but it can also be a sign of inflammation and irritation in the airways. Coughing can occur at any time, but it may be worse at night or early in the morning or during exercise or cold weather. Coughing can also interfere with sleep and daily activities. Number two, wheezing. This is a high-pitched whistling sound that you make when you breathe out. Wheezing is caused by the air passing through the narrowed and inflamed airways. Wheezing can vary in intensity and frequency, depending on how severe your asthma is and what triggers it. It can also indicate a serious asthma attack that requires immediate attention. Number three, shortness of breath. This is the feeling of not being able to get enough air into your lungs. Shortness of breath can make you feel anxious, tired, or dizzy. It can also limit your ability to perform physical activities or enjoy your hobbies. Shortness of breath due to asthma can occur suddenly or gradually, and it may worsen over time if your asthma is not well controlled. Number four, chest tightness. This is the feeling of pressure or squeezing in your chest. Chest tightness can make you feel uncomfortable or scared. It can also mimic the symptoms of a heart attack, so it's important to rule out other causes before assuming it's asthma. Chest tightness due to asthma can be triggered by stress cold air, exercise, or allergens. Number five, trouble sleeping. This is the difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep due to asthma symptoms. Trouble sleeping can affect your quality of life and your overall health. It can also worsen your asthma symptoms and make them harder to manage. Number six, fatigue. This is the feeling of being exhausted or worn out. Fatigue can result from lack of sleep due to coughing or wheezing, or from reduced oxygen levels in your blood due to poor breathing. Fatigue can affect your mood, concentration, memory, and productivity. It can also make you more prone to infections and other illnesses. So how is asthma diagnosed? If you think you may have asthma, you should see your doctor for a proper diagnosis. Your doctor will ask you about your medical history, your symptoms, your triggers, and your family history of asthma. Your doctor will also perform a physical exam and some tests to measure how well your lungs work. 
These tests may include number one, spirometry. This test measures how much air you can breathe in and out and how fast you can do it. You will be asked to blow into a device called a spirometer that records your results. Number two, peak flow. This test measures how fast you can exhale air from your lungs. You will be asked to blow into a device called a peak flow meter that shows your results. Number three, methacholine challenge. This test involves inhaling a substance called methacholine that causes your airways to narrow. You will then do a spirometry test to see how your lungs react. If your lung function drops significantly after inhaling methacholine, then you likely have asthma. Number four, allergy tests. These tests involve exposing your skin or blood to different allergens to see if you have an allergic reaction. This can help identify your asthma triggers. Treatment of asthma. Unfortunately, there is no cure for asthma, but it can be managed with proper treatment and care. The goal of asthma treatment is to control your symptoms and prevent asthma attacks. Asthma treatment usually involves two types of medications. Number one, controller medications. These are medications that you take every day to reduce inflammation and prevent symptoms from occurring. They include inhaled corticosteroids, such as fluticasin, long-acting beta agonists, such as salmeterol, and leukotriene modifiers, such as montelukast. Number two, rescue medications. These are medications that you take as needed to relieve symptoms when they occur. They include short-acting beta agonists, such as albuterol, anticholinergics, such as ipratropium, and oral steroids, such as prednisone. In addition to these medications, you should also follow an asthma action plan that your doctor will create for you. This plan will help you monitor your symptoms, adjust your medications, and know what to do in case of an asthma attack. You should also avoid or limit your exposure to your asthma triggers as much as possible and keep your environment clean and dust-free. Other than that, you should also eat a healthy diet, quit smoking if you do, and exercise regularly. Just remember to talk with your doctor before starting any exercise program and make sure you warm up properly before exercising. At the end, asthma can be a challenging condition to live with, but with proper treatment and care, you can lead a normal and active life. Share your experiences with asthma with us in the comments below. And if you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more video like this. Thanks for watching.